Hello guys, today we are seeing another container box on top of a container chassis. But today's uh, container box is different, it's just a container box with the three doors, two in the right position and the one in the rear. In the front we can have the fire extinguisher holder, it can hold two of them. I think uh, you can hold uh, two four kilograms fire extinguisher. In the front you can have the ladders to the top. We need to go to the top and have a checking. Here is the braking line connection and the electricity socket as all the other pillars. Same as the last one, it is uh, just belong to the box. So it need to have some connection line to the trailer itself. So in the trailer you can have uh, the real braking line connection and uh, electricity and ABS socket over there. Also the bottom is uh, green color and the trailer, the container chassis is blue color. So you can separate uh, by your variants very easily. For the trailers we have the 90 millimeter in, uh, diameter king pin, bolted type, not the uh, welding type. And also you can see those holes are draining holes. So when you are having water and without a container on top of it, the king pin assembling usually have a lot of water inside. You need those drain holes to drain those water off. Otherwise your king pin plate, this is the king pin plate, to get to contact with the fifth wheel, gonna rust very quickly. To the rear, we can see the landing gear as all the time. This landing gear is the left side operation, and uh, you can see the gearbox is different than the others. It's uh, outside, pretty old design, but uh, very useful. Those are two frames, and uh, inside the frame, you can see the braking line. The red and the yellow nylon pipes are the braking line to giving the braking signal to the air chamber on the axle so you can have the brake on the braking drum. Those black lines are the electricity line to giving the power to the light in the left and the right. You can see the light over there. And when we get out, we can see the side protection in the right side and uh, Spare tire carrier, same as all the other trailers. And a toolbox, of course, it must be to holding the tools. And this trailer is two axle. So we can assume, uh, assume this trailer is only carrying light cargo. All those uh, side has been designed two big doors over there. We can open one of them to have a look. So. To open it, you need to open this and then get it up and then get this one out. Then try to a little bit of force before you really open open it. Then have the door open like this. You must be curious of what this chair is used for. Why they have a chair like this? So when you're operating the door outside, you're probably facing a very huge wind. Then you need to fasten the door like this. When you fasten the door, then you could have the safety do the operation. Otherwise, if you're standing here, the door closing very heavily, <laughs> then you probably don't want that to happen. All right, let's close it and see. Here is the rear of the trailer. It's pretty. You can see it's pretty long than other normal trailers, so we can easily get under it. You can see those are the lights of this trailer, and this one is the supporting bar. So when you're having a small car or other car heading to the protection guard, a rear protection guard, then this bar would, would, sub, uh, would observe the force to save the small cars. Here is the bottom of the... <coughs> Trailer it has in the air reserve tank over there to saving the reserve uh, the pressure when give the trailer braking power when you are not connecting the tractor. This is axle 
this one is manually. Now this is automatically slight adjuster. And the slight adjuster is connecting the camel shift. The camel shift is connecting the braking shoe braking panel. The braking panels is uh, going to have the gap with the braking drum. So once this uh, pulled by this air chamber, then we'd have a brake on those uh, on that uh, braking chamber uh, on that uh, braking drum. Sorry. Okay, this one is a leaf spring. And inside we can have the braking lines and those pipes and uh, some uh, some uh, parts. Let's get out. <laughs> okay, now we're outside and uh, I have a one door opened already for us to go inside. Have a look what it uh, really looks like inside. Okay. This is how it looks inside. This are the this one is the door we have opened. That one is the door we haven't opened. This is the box head, the front panel of those box. In this box, uh, we can see the same corrugation steel plate in the left and right side. And also on the top, we use those uh, those uh, fillers to fill out all the gaps. And the roof is also made by those uh, corrugation steel plate. All those uh, bolts and nuts are for the locking bars. It's pretty dark inside, so we can have a more clear view when we near the door. The floor are made by the container floor. I think it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's, uh, Eight pieces and also with some small pieces in the front. Because in the front, uh, they have a gooseneck terminal here. You can see this one is uh, not uh, the wood floor, this one is a gooseneck terminal. So all the gooseneck of the container chassis could go into the gooseneck terminal. Hope you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, from the container inside, we can see it's uh, also having those names of the buyers on the side walls but we have no doors in this side so it can give uh, the other small car drivers more clear view what this uh, trailer and uh, container belong to all right i i think that uh, would be enough for today's video about this trailer hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or things you want to ask with us please contact uh, our information as below I wish you have a nice day. See you next time. Bye-bye.